Mixing order is one that just involves a lot of details, right? And has the, the potential for um, wasted product if we're, if we're doing things in the wrong order or we're making mistakes, we wanna correct that. And, and also that can lead to inconvenient downtime, which when we're in the heat of the season, we don't wanna see. Uh, we wanna be able to get there out there on weeds that are of size. So, you know, first and foremost, we would just recommend always read and follow those label directions. That's gonna be the, the best recommendation we could ever give in addition to using that PPE throughout the process to, to, to have a safe uh, application. So when we, when we get to uh, the sprayer piece, uh, we wanna make sure that we have a clean sprayer from the, the prior application. And if, the, if that has not been done, go ahead and do the proper clean out procedures. Uh, second, we wanna calibrate our spray equipment, make sure that we're, we've got the right nozzles, the right spray volume to go out and make a proper application. So for today's example of a proper mixing order demonstration with Liberty Herbicide, we would suggest Liberty Herbicide plus Zidua plus AMS. In that situation, you would take your clean sprayer tank, fill that half full, and begin your agitation cycle so that when you add your AMS next, it has plenty of time to agitate and get fully dissolved within that spray tank water. So number one, D for dry, I'm gonna add that first. A for AMS, L, liquids and SC formulations, E for emulsifiable concentrates, and then S, or, so factants or adjuvants. After you're sure that you've got full dissolution, move on to adding your Zidua SC herbicide. Make sure that that give that proper time to mix within the tank. Follow that up with Liberty herbicide. We then wanna add the rest of our water to get that tank full. We've mixed everything right. We're, we've got everything circulated and agitating and, and staying in suspension. Um, and so we're ready to spray, right? So um, at this point, we wanna make sure that we prime or flush all of those lines so that we get the, the proper correct concentration to each nozzle prior to your, uh, prior to your application. And that's, a, that's another good point. You know, a lot of folks don't realize how much liquid are, are on board these machines in the plumbing. Right, the boom alone, some of those have 30, 40 gallons. Uh, when you add in all the other systems and hoses, that's gonna be upwards of 80 gallons of, of liquid and, and potentially product. So if you don't have the, you know, the, uh, the, the right plumbing through there and the right amount of pressure and everything, you're gonna have an issue with that inverted V pattern, you know, getting the product out in a consistent manner. Um, with, the, with the liquid logic system here on the Rogator C-Series, that's a recirculating boom, so all that product will be right at the nozzle, right when you apply. You know, remember your mixing order and, and the fact that it can cause downtime. And it is an important step uh, where we do need to focus on details. So using that Dale's method uh, it will, be, will be critical to getting uh, a, a good application. For more information about Liberty Herbicide, contact your local area BASF representative or go to yourliberty-herbicide.com. <music>